Hey guys and welcome back to another Dot 2 video. Today's a bit of an impromptu video because at 1pm today, which was about 22 minutes ago, we had an official press announcement from Character Options revealing six brand new Doctor Who figure sets that are going to be hitting stores in B&M from October 2020. So I thought I'd do just a, an initial reaction video, something a bit different. Uh, just to let you guys know exactly what I think of all these brand new lovely sets. So I have the images here on my computer. I will probably put the pictures of the sets upon the screen so you can see them if you haven't already. So we'll start off with one of the ones that is one of the most demanded by fans, which is the Unit 1975 Terror of the Zygon set. This set features the long-awaited figure of the fourth Doctor in his tartan scarf and hat from Terror of the Zygons and it just looks magnificent. It looks so so good. The brand new head sculpt for Tom Baker looks really nice with the nice hat and the new sculpt for the scarf looks brilliant as well. Other than that the body looks to be a reuse of the Genesis of the Daleks Sontaran experiment body but with repainted legs and the torso piece is painted correctly, which about time. The other two figures in the set are Benton in his now camo uniform from the story, which is nice and accurate. And we have a repaint of the Captain Yates figure, but repainted to be just a generic unit grunt by the addition of a moustache. That's, I think, going to be a bit divisive with people. Personally, I would have preferred that they just use a generic head rather than reusing the Captain Yates head. But it, we're getting another unit soldier, so who am I to complain? And as well, this set includes accurate rifles. I know that was a complaint that a lot of people had about the original. I never saw that as a complaint as such. I didn't mind it. But it's nice to see that we are finally getting accurate weaponry for these soldiers. So that's that set, it looks really awesome and it will go nice and lovely with the Zygons that we already have from that story. Next up we have the Companions of the Third and Fourth Doctor set. This is a revision of the Companions of the Fourth Doctor set that came out a couple of months back in that it still includes Sarah Jane Smith, Romana 1 and Romana 2. However, this time we have them in three brand new costumes the Sarah Jane Smith figure is from the Monster of Peladon. The Romana 1 figure is from the Power of Kroll. It took me ages to think of what that story was. And the Romana 2 figure is from the Horns of Naimon. Personally, I love this set. The version of Sarah Jane that we're getting is one that I never thought we'd get. Um, because I completely forgot that that was a variation of her costume that we see in the Monster of Peladon. But it's awesome that we're finally getting that to go with the recently released Green Velvet Third Doctor that came out earlier this year. Romana 1 looks brilliant and it's great to have another version of Romana 1 which is in a more accurate costume than the original version was from the Pirate Planet. And Romana 2 is from the Horns of Naimon, that's just a very simple repaint of the existing figure minus the scarf. And it looks as if Romana 1 has a newly sculpted torso piece which is brilliant. It's brilliant that character options are being able to invest in little additions to make the figures pop even more on the shelf. And it's just brilliant to see. I'm really glad about this set because I came so close to buying a second Companions of the Fourth Doctor set originally to repaint Romana 1 and 2 into these variants that we see here. So I'm really glad that I held off on doing that. And I can't wait to add them three figures to my collection. Next up, we have the Friends of the 13th Doctor set. This is, once again, a revision of the originally released Friends and Foe of the 13th Doctor set. However, this time, Graham is in the place of the Jadoon Trooper. So we finally have the fam all together in one set and with three brand new paint decos. So Graham is from stories like It Takes You Away and Demons of the Punjab. It's one of his more iconic looks. Ryan is in his costume from the Ghost Monument 
and Yaz is in her costume from Fugitive of the Jadoon. So we have three really nice new paint decos for these figures here. I particularly love the look for Yaz in this set. Graham is a variant that I'm surprised we didn't get initially. I'm surprised that they went with the blue jacket version originally and not the brown jacket version that we see here. And the Ryan figure looks really striking with that contrast of the light blue and the orange trousers. And it, it's, to be honest, it's considered to be one of his more iconic looks. So I'm really looking forward to getting that set and putting them on the shelf and having more than one variant of each of the companions on the shelf with the Doctor. Next up, we have yet another TARDIS, another classic TARDIS at that. And this time we have the fifth Doctor and TARDIS from The Visitation. Just when I thought we'd run out of every possible variant of the fifth Doctor, couch options come in and surprise us with this brand new variant from The Visitation. Upon first glance, it looks to be exactly the same figure that came with the Master in the San Diego Comic Con set from 2009, I think it was, maybe 2010. But it looks as if the jumper has been repainted to be a crisp white as opposed to the off-white that we've had in the past. And I think there might be some slight paint variations with the trousers upon looking at it now. But the main difference is the TARDIS. It's a lighter blue than the Androzani TARDIS that we saw last year. There is no mud detailing around the bottom and it just looks like a really nice version of the TARDIS. And it looks like we finally have a definitive 80s TARDIS that isn't scene specific like the Androzani one was. And hopefully this will be able to be bought by the masses unlike the Curse of Fenric TARDIS. Finally, we have sets three and four of the History of the Daleks range. First off, we have The Chase. We have more figures from the chase. Um, this one is more or less two re-releases. We have a re-release of the um, SFX Guard Dalek that we saw a few years ago. Obviously, probably without the sound effects. I'm really happy with this. Um, it is very similar to the movie Daleks that we got just a couple of weeks ago. But if you weren't able to pick up that initial release of the Guard Dalek, back in 2014, I think it was, then this is a great opportunity for you. And the other figure in the set is a basic 1960s Dalek that we originally saw in the chase sets way back in 2011. These look to be the same figures, probably with that slightly more silver paint deco that sets one and two got earlier this year. It does look as if the hemispheres have been painted a darker blue like they were on the original set and that the slats and mesh sections have been painted a brighter silver. So I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate or not, but it's more Daleks and who's gonna complain with that? Finally, set number four is based on the Daleks master plan. And again, these are basically just two re-releases. We have the Flamethrower Dalek, which is a re-release from the enemies of the First Doctor set, and the Supreme Dalek that was with the First Doctor in the Toys R Us exclusive Doctor Dalek sets, from back in 2013. So if you missed out on either of these figures beforehand, this is a great opportunity for you to pick up these two figures here. I already have them, so I don't really get very excited for these two sets in particular, but I can see the slight variations with the paint and I'm definitely gonna pick them up just to add them to my collection. So once again, the silver looks more shiny, more metallic like sets one and two had earlier this year. And apart from that, I think that they are identical to the previously released sets. So there we go, guys. All these sets are going to cost $19.99 and will be available exclusively in B&M stores for us UK folks. If you are in America or Canada or anywhere else, you can order them off Amazon.com or Who North America. I will post the links in the bio when they are listed for sale overseas. So let me know, guys, what did you think of these six sets? Personally, I'm really looking forward to them. My personal favourite is actually the Terror of the Zygons unit set. I can't believe that we finally have a figure of the fourth Doctor, how he looks in that story. It looks brilliant. Other than that, I'm really looking forward to the TARDIS, actually. I think that'll look really nice. And the new versions of Ryan, Graham and Yaz. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again soon for another Doctor review.
Bye.